YouTube family, I am Olo the Barber. This is Icon Cut Studios, Cut Samoa's the channel. Today we'll be talking about the Bevel T Blade. Yes, I got it, and uh, it's really dope, man. The last video that I did uh, was a comparison of the Andis Cordless T Outliner uh, and the Bevel Trimmer. And what 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 happened was I had the V2 Square Blade on the bevel trimmer and while I was cutting it, cutting it the, the one thing that I could never get away from was man, I really wish they would come out with a T-blade. I, I was even like, yo, if you come up with a T-blade, bro, send it to me, man, and I'll see what's up with it. And mysteriously, I ended up with one. And I gotta tell you, bro, I like it a lot. Um, just like the square blade where it is, of course, a detachable, uh, detachable blade clipper, a, de a detachable trimmer. It's a detachable, uh, but it's also adjustable because just like the square blade, it's got the dial on there that you can move around. Now, to kind of give you a look at the dimensions and, and how, because I've been using this, look, I had to put the black blade from my blackout T outliner for it to really hit the way I wanted it to, and it's really dope now. Um, but look at that, it's a much bigger blade, if I can show you. Force it, bro. It's a much bigger blade. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good representation right there. How much bigger it is. It's a little heavier. It feels like it's a, you know, like it's real sturdy. Like it feels just like the square blade. Really, really dope blade. And they sent me one, the first one. And, also, and this is the problem I was having. I, I could stop it. I could stop it. It just it wasn't as, it wasn't strong. Um, the actual blade on the inside, uh, at the top, the, the cutting blade was kind of shifting. So one side would cut higher than the other. If I zero gapped it, I would definitely cut somebody. So and I was very disappointed, bro, because I saw a lot of the other barbers um, using it. Not a lot, but a, a couple other barbers using it, man. And I really wanted to get in the game and put it to some use. Shout out to homie Flacco Vision 3 on Instagram. That dude's a beast. And um, so, so I couldn't, I couldn't really use it. But the beautiful thing about Bevel and about Tristan Walker and that company is they asked me real questions and they wanted real answers about the blade. And I told them exactly the things I didn't like about it, the things that I felt could be improved on. I told them, like I was like real candid and explicit and they urged me to be that way. And lo and behold, here? The new one, I mean, everything that I wanted out of the old one is here. And I, I didn't, I, I had, I've had it for almost a month now. And I didn't wanna jump right out the box immediately and just start, you know, taking videos and doing showing you prematurely how awesome it is. I, I wanted to, I wanted to put it, keep it in the shop with me for a little while and actually stand the test of, you know, of, of hard barbershop usage. And a month, a month with this blade, bro. And it is my go-to blade. It's the, it's the one, this is my go-to trimmer. This is my go-to blade. I love the use of it. I feel like I've got a bigger uh, range of motion. I can get any nook and cranny I wanna get to. I'm gonna drop a couple of videos how we've been using it. And I'm, and I'm, I'm like the only barber in my shop. Well, no, no, no. The homie Spoon got one. He had to get it. He had to get it. But he ain't got he ain't got this blade. He got the square blade. This is this is dope. It's a dope. It's a dope idea. Dope concept. I love the fact that these are. This is a company that is really dedicated. Really dedicated. Putting the to making improvements, making advancements. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't I don't want to harp too much on on what other companies are doing or not doing. But I really feel like. When I when I when I paid 160 bucks for this trimmer, I feel like yeah, yeah, I paid a lot for a trimmer. I feel, but I also feel like I'm investing in their next endeavor. Buy a quarter T outliner. Of course, I'm getting what I'm paying for. I'm buying a quarter T outliner. Um, I mean a, a T outliner. I'm buying it. It's 60 bucks. I'm buying it. It's good. It's good. If I never want to deal with Anders again, buy a, a, a Anders T outliner. I'm fine. I don't think that when I'm purchasing their products, I'm investing in them making them better. Guess what, that same quality T outliner has been, we've made it better. Like we've done it, you know what I'm saying? Like we filed down the blade. Shout out Chuka the Barber with the blade modifier. 
we've cut the top off uh, for heating and cooling and to put our finger right there so we can get up in the cracks. Like we've made the changes, so why? So they feel like, why should they? I guess, maybe that's how they feel, why should they? But, but when, every, when the cordless wave hit, they had to do something. So I'm thinking, yes, they're about to go ham. They're about to make a better trimmer. They're gonna compete with, with everybody else, and hell yeah. And then, and then Wall comes out with this, which for a, for a for $50 trimmer, cordless, this is dope. This is a dope trimmer, bro. This is dope. This, uh, with the, the TY blade on it, you still gotta modify the blade, but it's dope. This is a dope trimmer, I love this. I just feel like I'm investing in my future. I feel, yeah, I do. I feel like I'm investing in my future as a barber uh, when I cop the bevel blade, man. So, um, really dope stuff, man. Kind of have a look at how it cuts and what and, and, and what it is. Because I'm telling you, um, fresh out of the box, the skin tight hitting, okay? The skin tight hitting. And the beautiful thing about this is, you know, father and son come in and you don't want to use the same blade pressure on dad that you're going to use at so you cut the you cut the dad, blah, 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 and you dial it, you can take, pop it off. It's very easy, it comes right off, dial it back some, bim. You can use that uh, that modified blade pressure on, on the sun. So, uh, like I said, man, this is just an excellent trimmer, awesome idea. Shout out to uh, Bevel, shout out to homie Tristan Walker, man. Y'all did something with this, man. I'm really looking forward to see what you guys do next. So this, has been the first portion of the video. Check out a couple of the edge ups, lineups, and see what happens. I'm out. And what you're watching right here is just a, a a basic edge up, man. There's a very light enhancement here. I think I got some topic across the line, and is applied lightly. Kind of some of it's brushed out actually, as I use the brush. And what I like about this is the sharp corners that I get. Now, anybody that has used like an Andes T outliner or any kind of T blade, you know, you know you do most of your work from the center of the blade to the right or from the center of the blade to the left. Like you're not gonna, I love that line, you're not gonna use uh, the middle of the blade, you know, a lot. You're gonna be using from the center of the blade to the left as you're doing the left side of the edge up. You're gonna be doing the center of the blade to the right um for the right side of the edge up and, and this, you, you you see it man it's just a really clean really crisp line um this is the homie also cuts in the shop he's our shop owner this is the homie justin fox man um and we are at icon cut so a uh, really dope shop but he is edging up um one of his clients and i mean just a spin this is no enhancement this is nothing to just straight up um, straight clipper or, or trimmer um, and this is just a really clean edge up I like how he has the sharp corners that's what you want and it's easily achieved with the way the bevel blade is set up so uh, and I'm, I'm not saying you can't do this with anything else I'm just saying it's really really easy to do with a blade like this because you got so much length from center to the right point and from the center to the left point it just makes it easy to cover as much ground as you need as uh you're gonna be edging up so um this is just a really 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 dope trimmer man i i like it a lot um and i'm not be being paid by <laughs> by bevel to say what i feel and and to uh you know talk to you about what i like and why i like it i'm not being paid at all man all of this is just a, my true honest assessment man and um, he wasn't even a believer until I like, yo, well, use, use it then. You use it and you tell me what you think about it. And now, you know, it, it's a trip that I know he's going to pick up at some point. So, um, awesome, awesome, awesome trip, man. Shout out to, to Bevel, man, for what they've been able to do, man. And it, there it goes again, the big homie, Icon Cuts, man, the master barber in the house, my big homie. Uh, and this is me again, um, putting the finishing touches on uh it was like a little low taper uh for, for, the, for the little homie and i just want you to see how crisp and clean man the lines come out um as we use this and this is the v2 blade this is the the version 2 blade and it's still a still a prototype so they're making improvements um to this now before it actually releases so this is just a prototype of the v2 t blade the version 2 of it and 
they're they're making they're still making changes they're still improving and that's the dope thing about this company so do not forget to uh comment to share to like to subscribe uh every little bit helps man every like every comment every share definitely helps me out here on the channel um this is your partner uh molo the barber we are in icon cut studios this of course is cut some more where we cut we cut and we do our best to cut some more so peace we out